Aspen starting to the west, and sure enough, no team going with SPG. Yeah, and actually, yeah, pretty... I feel like it's like an urban, slightly urban setup, you know, both these teams are, are kind of... I feel like it's a Himmelstorf setup. Almost, well, yeah, I mean, they, they, they do... They did go for a bit of mobility on both sides, mm -hmm. though. I mean, actually, the Night Eagles reverting to their uh, initial selection that they yeah. had on mind. Yeah, so yeah. three T-69s, one T-32, one IS-3, whereas the City Dogs Revolution uh, is going, uh, well, to Modi sticking with his MX-13 and uh, four LT with his T-69 as well. So that's uh, a setup that almost mirrors their previous choice on Runeberg. Now, sure enough, both, uh, I mean, on the Night Eagle side, at least, uh, they're going for that uh, uh, northern uh, pass, so to speak. Yep. Well, and this T1 has spotted that AMX-13 in the center of the map, but both t both teams will kind of just back off from that. Yeah, so both teams, well, sure enough, uh, just going for that rocky area mm -hmm. to the north, the uh, right south of the airfield. Uh, that's usually where all the firefight tends to happen. Yeah, usually, yeah, towards that northern kind of center, central area. I kind of like it how uh, on the Silly Ducks Revolution side, they left that uh, AMX-13 uh, by uh, Player Tomuti, of mm. course, uh, as a free electron. So yeah, yeah, like yeah. to roam around the middle section and perhaps get a uh, look at a flying down the waterway. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, that's uh, definitely using the AMX, uh, the more mobile AMX and the fast AMX to uh, good use. Definitely. And the Silly Ducks Revolution actually kind of posting up yeah, on is slightly northern on slightly more the western side behind those rocks. Yeah, definitely they're uh, very well on the cover at yeah, uh, the definitely. moment. Uh, they'd be just like, yeah, anybody try to break uh, through that uh, would have their hands full. Yep. And, oh, uh, and well, it's pretty the much same a mirror, thing. Like, yeah. it's, it's a mirrored up setup uh, here for the uh, Night Eagles as well. They left both scouts to uh, sort of... Uh, the southern southern area. Yeah, yeah, just as eyes on target, mm. pretty yeah. much. I think they're being like extremely uh, careful of uh, Tomoti and his MX-13 because mm. uh, yeah, those T1s can go down in a flash. Definitely, if he manages to sneak in behind them or whatnot. And but like, oh, you look at that! All those T69s and uh, yeah, the the heavy forces, uh, the big guns on the Night Eagle side, completely hidden. Yeah, definitely, just pretty much a, a standoff right now. I think both these teams have a, have a pretty good idea of where each other are. Oh yeah, just, yeah, definitely. I mean, like, it, you know, it, it's just who who's who's going to be willing or daring to, to make the first to move. make the first push. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, because uh, of uh, well, the location of the scouts from both teams, uh, they know that uh, this northern pass is being like sort of like all bottled up. Yeah, definitely. Oh, and a T1 goes down. Yes, a T1 does go down on the Night Eagle side. Yes, right. And uh, yes, as, as expected, Tomoti using his MX-13 to uh, a great, great advantage here. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. If absolutely. you can manage to take out that other T1, that would be a non-negligible advantage, actually, because oh. that would really give them an open, wide open look to the uh, waterway down south. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the Night Eagle is actually down a T1, so they won't have quite as much vision up on that uh, southern kind of uh, yeah, hill they, area. They have, they definitely have to keep them alive yeah, uh, yeah. as long as possible. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I mean, in the, you know, these past, especially in the first set, you know, those T1s are so crucial. Oh, absolutely. On mines, yeah. that's what cost them the set, yeah, uh, yeah. to be honest with Pretty you. Much. So uh, they, they definitely don't want to make uh, the same mistake uh, here. Yeah, you don't want to go to a fifth set, no matter yeah. what. Especially when you're leading to the one. You, you <laughs> want to finish that off like right right up, right now, yeah. pretty much. So uh, they got to be careful not to lose that T1. And sure enough, he retreated like uh, uh, close to, uh, much closer to his uh, starting position. Yeah. This one's kind of uh, just to detect if, you know, any If there's a push decide, or, yeah. yeah, or there's a sneak capture or whatnot. Uh, but he needs to stay alive. He definitely, definitely needs to stay alive. Yep, and taking a look here now at the Night Eagle side, not really moving that much just yet. I feel like. They're just kind of waiting to see if you know the silly ducks are willing to move out, but I, I don't know. I, I don't think the silly ducks. Honestly, are it would be suicide yeah. for either team to even try to to bully their way through through these rocks. Yeah. Much. Whoever's waiting will have the advantage. Yeah. Uh, if any team decides to push, and uh, I don't see the uh, Night Eagles doing it, and I definitely do not see silly ducks doing it either. Yeah. Right now, silly ducks are really hoping that uh, Tomoti and his MX-13 can actually do wonders once more and just take out that remaining scout and possibly just you know create the opportunity uh, of a sneak capture, the pressure of a sneak capture, like they did on mines pretty much. Mm -hmm. But for that to happen, he needs to take out that extra T1. Yeah, I mean, maybe they could use his AMX-13 to actually kind of move a little bit more towards the uh, Silly Dutch Revolution base and possibly get some vision onto where some... Oh, well, they do get a couple of vision. Yeah, they, so they do well, know yeah, the, where the, the Night Eagles are. Well, yeah, Timothy uh, spotted like uh, everyone. Yeah, much. Um, two tanks. Yeah, but pretty much if you see two tanks... Well, you know that everybody else yeah, is out there pretty much, so he definitely knows well. that they're camping up there. So uh, I think right now what he should try to do is uh, is sneak towards the waterway 
and uh, try to take out the remaining T1. However, he doesn't want to. He doesn't leave, know where it is, though. Well, he doesn't know where it is. Number one, and then he can't just leave his partners completely alone. Yeah. Up there in the rocks as well, because if he leaves, then they're, they're pretty much Outgun. slightly under the gun. Yeah. Slightly. He would still have the advantage of cover, obviously, but uh, he would still not guarantee a successful defense, so he can't venture too far ahead either. Yeah. And let's not forget, I mean, when it comes to the Silly Ducks Revolution side, uh, it's a must-win situation here, so uh, they absolutely cannot afford to lose the set. Yeah. But teams, yeah, not, not, still not moving. And pretty much, I mean, I would say it's like pretty much a mirror image from, you oh, know... Oh, it's if, if absolutely you symmetrical. <laughs> yeah. It's totally symmetrical. I... Yeah, if you cut the map in half and then fold it over, you'll pretty much have the same picture. <laughs> but once again, it is up to uh, the Silly Duck Revolution side to make uh, something happen here. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're the ones who are trailing behind. So, yeah. um, but uh, I really don't see them like taking any unnecessary risks. Not, not in this kind of Mexican standout. Yeah, definitely. And about four minutes now remaining in this force set. Or perhaps they're just waiting for the nick of time, pretty much like in uh, like they did on Mines uh, in set number one. However, uh, they have to remember that uh, this time around, uh, the Night Eagles do have one scout left. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so no movement still coming out from the Blues team. I, you know, I just feel like you know, there's there's so much on the line at this point. You know, both these teams are at in the quarterfinals. They're yep. so close to that final. Oh, but hold on, hold on. It looks like uh, the Sea Ducks are actually on the move right now. Yes. Oh yeah, they, they are moving out. Yeah, they end. Yeah, they're they're going for it. They're actually going for it. I don't know if they're gonna go for a full on push. They might just be repositioning themselves. Uh, just to catch. The perhaps I think they're just trying to get a, a closer look as to. Uh, where the yeah. uh, Night Eagles uh, well, actually they, they are, are creeping up. Like, they, they are slowly quite pushing. Close. Yeah, they're, they're, they're really, really close. close. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, they have. If they go <laughs> behind that rock, pretty much, yeah. Vane, who's like uh, pretty much uh, uh, leading the troops here, if he goes behind those two rocks yeah, here, that yeah. narrow gorge, he will get shot. Yep. Yeah. So I've actually like probably less than a hundred meters away from each other at this point. They just don't have vision on each other just yet. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> He's just like yeah, look at they're that. Like, they are yeah. so close to each other they right really now. They really are very, very close to each other. And uh, uh, the funny thing is that they're not aware of this. I mean, I, I think, I, they, I think they, they, they pretty much know, but they don't really necessarily know how close they yeah, actually yeah. are from yeah, each yeah, yeah. other. This might be a bloodbath. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it might possibly. turn into a bloodbath. Oh, oh they're pushing. They it's a push. Yeah, it's a push. It's a push. Yes, it's it, a wow, full five on tanks. push. As a matter of fact, uh, oh, this is very, very aggressive. Yeah, this is quite <laughs> tense. Yeah, because the silly ducks have to push in. They have to make a move quite soon. Only but two minutes remaining. But they're gonna have to remaining. go uphill, though. I, I, I don't necessarily give them the edge here. Yeah, I don't know who has. I mean, I don't think either team really has a, an edge. A clear, uh, yeah, edge or advantage. Okay, oh, but the T69. Oh, oh, look at that! Wow. Yes, they're completely under the gun here. They're trying to go for a surrounding maneuver here. But let's not forget, you've got the two Night Eagles tanks up there as well. So they got to hold up. The Night right Eagles now. are actually kind of under the gun right now. They're taking a lot yeah, of damage. Yeah, they're taking a lot of damage. But uh, yeah, they're so are they. Like, yeah, well. it's just uh, yep. So. Uh, they're in a bottleneck, sort yeah. of. They're, they don't have that much cover. They're in a bottleneck. Look at that. They're taking so much punishment. They're trying to go for a surrounding maneuver, but it's pretty much even out there. Yeah. It's pretty much even. Uh, like Lu Luna oh, Maria, who actually, might go he, down, no, he survives. He, does he survive. survives, and now he's uh, being protected by his buddies. No, but Obelisk here actually doing a great job. Obelisk is, is doing a great yeah. job, but Luna Maria did survive. That yeah, might actually he's be actually, quite his crucial. Team is actually Protecting him he from is, the enemy fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good covering it's job, like from the Night Eagles. It's brilliantly done. Yeah. And look at that, like here, uh, oh, Opelis, yeah, like taking yeah, so much damage. Down. He's down. He goes down here. But actually, another tank on the uh, Night Eagles side and, does uh, go and down the base as well. capture is actually captured here, like so. A very similar sort of tactic that the uh, you know City Ducks Revolution are trying to pull uh, yeah. pull up here. But however, uh, in terms of the actual firefight, they're losing. Yeah, the Night Eagles have to make a move here, or else they will lose. The oh, and actually. Something will go oh, down. Oh, it goes down so really. Silly Ducks Revolution might actually pull this off. They, w they oh, might no, but actually it's pull two this on off. Two right exactly. Now. This is really, really interesting. Yeah, but that T69 is actually going back to, the to stop to, this base uh, yeah, capture. Yeah, to, to stop the base capture. So it's actually but, only uh, one T69. But yeah, but like Captain CKSBB was like sort of really, really left alone out there. Yeah, Tomodi here actually now also joining in this firefight. Uh, oh, this is going to be wow. hot! <laughs> actually, N60 well. doing a great yes, job. Yes, so uh, right now we've wow. got Tomodi and his MX-13 here, but he's... No, um, they, I don't think there's, there's a chance that Tomodi can do this exactly it's because it's a T-69. Uh, it is a T-69 and it's not like you can outmaneuver a T-69. Uh, yeah, uh, like oh, you but Tomodi actually, he's lining up Tomodi for the like shot. Yeah. Tomodi's going to take a lot of damage here. You might get taken out. 
and N60. I don't know why he's not firing, but he actually might just be trying to line up, line up the shot. But Tomoto doing a great job of actually outmaneuvering N60. Oh, and yeah, oh, he but he goes gets taken. Down.